Hi, I'm Tracy Brown from the LA Times, and we're here at Comic Con at our photo studio, photo and video studio, with the cast of One on Arp. Hello. Hello. How's it going? Good. Good. Awesome. Um, I must say, like personally as a fan, I'm excited that you guys are here because last year you premiered season three. And it wasn't until very recently that we heard that season four was in again. <laughs> I like that, didn't you? Yeah. Spence is our specialty. Yes. Honestly, it was yeah. just a um, promotional gimmick. It yeah. It was yeah. always All fine. set up. Right. That's what's very mean to make us sit on that cliffhanger for Ooh. Yes. so long. I <laughs> hope I remember what it is. But I'll, <laughs> I'll watch it again. <laughs> uh, but uh, well, what is it like to have such a gap? Like creative, is it, do you second guess ideas you had before the break? Do you... Right. I always second guess ideas because I'm a writer. Um, no, I think the one thing that's been so amazing is the fandom really rallied to kind of um, save the show, so to speak. And it really gave me a pause, a chance to realize what they love about the show. Just reminded me why they're fighting so hard for it, what's important about the show, the characters and the relationship, these amazing cast people. Um, I mean, it's all new all the time. It'll be interesting to see what happens, but in a weird way, it just has reinvigorated me I think about the show I feel the same way like just in terms of getting back to it when you have such a, a long break you just really get excited to go back it's like you've had enough of a break it's sort of like that thing like you know summer break between <laughs> years at school where you're like I, I, I'm ready to go back by the end of it well now we're really ready to go back a very long summer break yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well season three I mean it W there wouldn't be a show if Winona had it easy, but I felt uh -huh. like season three was especially like one after another yes. with the punches. Um, do you have any? Do you have like a wish list of for season four of like a break day? Punch me more. <laughs> okay. Keep the punches coming. No, I I'm with you. Like I I think it's really more fun to play. It's interesting and it it's um you know if she has it easy then why is the show called Winona Earp? Like <laughs> then it it's no longer. Um, the conflict is what makes it run. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, well, Catherine, you, uh, Winona and Nicole had a handcuffed episode <laughs> where you guys were stuck together. Um, how was that logistically? <laughs> well, you like logistics? It was. Yeah. <laughs> I love logistics. Yeah. Logistically, it was fantastic. I love working with Melanie. Mm -hmm. I Every chance I get, I get so excited because um, she's an actor where she just keeps you on your toes. Every take every time she delivers a line it's different mm -hmm. and she just forces you into being present which is amazing the handcuff stuff i thought was awesome because we really couldn't go anywhere it was legit real handcuffs so <laughs> we couldn't go anywhere but the first time we wore the handcuffs we were running through the snow mm -hmm. and they snapped oh. yeah and that was the only time and remember then and they were like it's virgin snow in yes. here. Yeah. and so we can't mess this up because we can't reset the snow and we're like we got this <laughs> guys how hard can this be we just have to run across okay Relax. Yeah. We like, messed where up. are you? This nope. is easy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to the back, stuck six feet down. Um, oh, it was a joy. That was by far one of my favorite working experiences of my whole career, was shooting that episode with Melanie. Nice. No. And also, like, Sheriff Nicole now, not just... Yeah. yeah. How was, how was that? Oh, it was so awesome. <laughs> I thought it was just so well earned for Nicole. She worked really hard and it was lovely to see the transition from Nedley to Nicole in such a beautiful way. And that father-daughter relationship was so important, something Nicole never really had. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm really excited to see what uh, Unleashed Nedley does now that he has no <laughs> rules to follow. <laughs> right. Greg, yes, because at the end of the season, we saw you were still around, Nedley was still around, and he feels, he seems to be much more ready to confront the weirdness that happens in well, territory. It, yeah, it's w really interesting. Um, he's no longer Sheriff Nedley, he's just Nedley. Mm. And uh, actually, Kat was the one who said something that tweaked like before I even knew what was gonna happen with my character. Uh, Kat said, I wonder, I wonder what Nedley's gonna be like now that he does, doesn't have to follow the rules. Mm. <laughs> and I guess it turned out that way. He's just trying to get, a, you know, get to an island. <laughs> or uh, get to a beach somewhere. He's been trying to retire for three years. Um, but purgatory is that kind of town, I guess. You're not not going break. anywhere. <laughs> You'd be bored. <laughs> I'd be bored at the beach. <laughs> right. Uh, and Chantal, uh, Kate was newer last season. How was it just jumping in? Like, I forget the season started with, like, 
hero techno fun vampires Jeez, because yes. it just got heavy after that. Right, Sexy right. vampire fog. What an intro. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, You're babe. It's what you deserve. <laughs> it's what you deserve. <laughs> so don't settle for anything else going forward. Yeah. I want all my shows to start yeah, like that, yeah. first of all. <laughs> I'm spoiled. Yeah. Um, I mean, joining this cast, uh, not even cast, family mm -hmm. is exactly what it is. And I've got such a warm welcome from everyone. And I'm just, you know, you want me back or what? I mean, <laughs> but it was like, it just, I came in and just felt so easy. You know what I mean? I'm so, so I'm grateful for that. Thanks guys. Thank you. <laughs> Do you have any like wish list other characters to have scenes with? Because you were mostly, mostly just Doc, someone Winona. Yeah. Um, I think it'd be really cool. Cause I had a nice moment with Winona and I had a cool moment. <laughs> Nicole, so I think it'd be really cool to get some some Dom action. Actually, we'd love some of that yeah. and some Nedley time. Want to rephrase uh, that? Uh, really that really 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 good friends. Friends. One thing I find is interesting. <laughs> somebody mentioned it to me, and I, and, and I, th I think he's right. Um, I think a lot of us work in different ways. So w w when the scenes change, depending on who you're working with, with which actor, it's always interesting, and you're always on your toes. Yes, because everybody has a different approach mm -hmm. um, and that makes it a lot of fun it's a lot mm -hmm. of fun Keeps it fresh. It's yeah. a testament <clears throat> to this cast too that from a writing perspective you're all so strong that putting any two of you in a scene together is just so delightful like you're just like what is this gonna be like <laughs> yeah. Like, like yeah Nedley and Kate handcuffed together in the snow <laughs> <laughs> like, you just know it's gonna be incredible and everyone's gonna rise to the challenge so oh, yeah <laughs> Right, oh, I know good, yeah. all the ideas. Yeah. <laughs> uh, well, Peacemaker is a sword now, or is I keep forgetting that. But yep, <laughs> yep, it is. You're gonna have a you, but you've been training for like a solid year in sword play, right? Um, like just seven twenty four sword play training, just like I assume. <laughs> <laughs> just you're I, good to go, right? Listen, <laughs> <laughs> my interpretation of a sword mm -hmm. is. A broad, right? Is broad. It's it's a broad sword. A broad a broad sword. sword. <laughs> so it, my, it, the way I listen, you're never gonna see <laughs> sword play the way Winona sword plays. That's true. That's, That's true. Season four fact. tagline, right there. <laughs> um, and Winona doesn't sheath her sword. You know what I'm saying? Oh, We've already done that season. We've already done that season. Oh, right, right. Yeah. She's sheathed. She's sheathed. Uh, <laughs> she's fully sheathed. She's fully we can't afford to unsheathe. Too much sword sheathing has happened it. already. <laughs> I feel, though, I think oh, Peacemaker's God. missing. Yeah, yeah. Did you guys remember that? Yeah, because you knew I couldn't do sword play. <laughs> so like, it still could be a sword, but it's we don't know where it is. Lots of things are missing. Uh, lots yeah, there are lots of things. And and people. I, people. I waited this long to ask about Waverly and Doc and what. I'm sorry, who? I don't Oops. know. They're conveniently not here, which, you know. They're stuck in the garden. Like I said, <laughs> they've been waiting. They're like, are we going to shoot soon, guys? It feels like a really long time. <laughs> um, yeah, they, uh, they've had a time. I mean, I assume. What's the implications, I guess, moving forward when someone who's, I think, like Waverly is very integral to the core of like, mm -hmm. teamwork on the team. What happens when she's gone? Such a, oh, no, I'm like, what do you guys think? <laughs> I guess she's like so much the heart of the um, team. Like she's been through so much, but she's just unflappable in a way. Like she's the erpiest erp of them all, we say, even though she's not an erp at all, which is so interesting. She's, you know, she's a queer angel and she's maybe part demon and she's an erp and she's all sorts of things. But what she really is, I think, is the heart and kind of the moral center of the team. And she's the thing I think so many of these characters fight for, you know, when they're trying to picture what it's all worth. Um, but she's tough as hell, too. I mean, uh, she's Winona's sister, and Winona's certainly not going to leave her behind. And, you know, just having been, you know, absent for a year, I think the fans want what the characters want, which is they want to get back together to this dysfunctional posse of kick-ass people. And uh, I wouldn't bet against them. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you look skeptical. <laughs> <laughs> I watched a lot of TV for work. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> oh, you're familiar. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. I guess, I mean, as you start getting back into, you know, the swings in season four, are there, like, little things you're looking forward to getting back to, or? I'm so excited to put that uniform back on. 
those boots and the belt. There's just such a weight I love as an actor. Costume for me is so important. Mm -hmm. And I find like when I put Nicole's uniform on, I just transport into a different energy. I hold myself differently. The feeling of all that weight is, uh, I'm just excited for it. I'm craving that, that uniform. I would say the same is like the transformation back into our characters. Like for me, it's the first thing is hair. Yeah. Um, and I see the, you know, I see the uh, Jody who does my hair and we start, you know, like it's like, like my body goes into this, like, <laughs> like, okay, we're, we're back into the zone. And then um, once the hair is right, I put on the jacket, yeah. put on those boots, put on that gun belt. Oh, Okay. That's why Can I have a she? gun belt. We ha I have to have a gun belt. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and it just gets me right back into um to to it's just such a great feeling to 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 do those little adjustments that turn you back into this world. I agree. I uh I I think I've shot one scene without that gun on my hip. Yes. And and the thing about cops is that if you wear a gun for 30 years, you walk funny. Mm -hmm. Cuz it it puts a toll on you cuz they're heavy. And I think I shot one scene without the gun belt on, and I just didn't feel right. I mm. felt weird. I thought it was walking funny. You know? <laughs> Great. Um, I mean, we're at Comic Con. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure you see, you know, your regulars at this point. What, uh, what would you say is the craziest thing you've seen so far at any any Comic Con? Any Comic Con ever? Yeah. We had a fan last year, Casey, oh, yeah. who came and cosplayed. Oh. The truck. <laughs> she reminds me. Winona's yes. truck. Winona's truck. She literally yeah. had this outfit with, it was like a transformer. Yeah. yeah. And she would, she, she had all these boxes and she lay down we, and it was electrically powered yeah, wheels and it moved. It, moved. it rolled it with her to? face on the ground. She became the truck. so good. She became the truck. She transformed. Kudos. It was incredible. Um, well, if you could cosplay, actually, who would you, who, what would you cosplay as? If they were like, you have to go, we need you on the cover, cosplay. I would cosplay as David Bowie from The Labyrinth. <laughs> wow. I nice. would cosplay as his balls. Right. Oh. <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. I do. Okay. Yeah. I would just cosplay as Buffy because I love her. I'll do respect forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> Um, I would cosplay as Spectrum. She's a Marvel superhero. Ooh, that's good. Do I get to do anything? Oh, I want to be Captain Kirk, and uh, but in the in the in the, the scene where he's a little heavier. Uh, <laughs> I'd actually. Oh no, I can't say that. Uh, I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. No, I'm going to say it anyway. You know those big, you know those big inflatable sumo wrestling suits. I'd like to wear one of those with a Captain Kirk uniform over top of it. <laughs> do it, do it, do it. Please oh, don't, please I didn't don't. Hurt anybody's feelings. <laughs> All right, and obviously everyone wants to come to Comic Con, but not everyone can. Do you have any words about season four you'd like to convey to the Erpers out there? <laughs> Who is Valdez? Oh, and that's it. Thank you so much for joining us. I would say, what do we want to say? I just think it's going to be all the herb you can handle. I like that. And more. Mm. Now with swordplay. <laughs> <laughs> Lower your expectations about the swordplay. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, I'd love to keep you, but I know I can't. So thank you for coming to the LA Times Video Studio at Comic-Con. Thank, thank you. Thank you for having us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.